Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. So seperti yang dijanjikan, Kak Rozi nak buat uh, a product tag ataupun uh, gift tag ke apalah tag lah, paper tag uh, untuk uh, yang menggunakan uh, sketch and cut function di Cameo. Uh, Cameo tu bermakna uh, applicable to portrait lah juga. Tapi with a slight twist sebab Cameo 3 yang baru ni ada dua carriage. So ada, it makes a, dua kerja dalam satu masa lebih senang compared to kalau yang uh, the cameo tu uh, ataupun portrait dia ada satu carriage so dia kena uh, tukar lah normally you sketch and then uh, later you tukar ke blade then baru you cut um, basically what is on the software ataupun pada design studio tu sama je tinggal uh, ada beza sikit for cameo 3 ya So, kita akan teruskan. So, this is the design uh, page pada uh, Silhouette Studio. So, I've actually dah prepare the the design sini on the left hand tu yang dekat luar daripada mat tu kan. Uh, so, tapi I'm going to do a quick, um, macam mana nak kata, a quick tutorial on how you can actually design any shape of Uh, apa tag that you want okay, Contoh ha, Kak Rozi um, Macam Kak Rozi ni I ambil design uh, Rounded rectangular You buat macam uh, Ambil lah what size macam ni ke And then you do Take some Circle ha, Macam tu uh, And then you can duplicate Duplicate And move it there To the side ha, Rafi And then do another circle. Alright. And bring this to the top. Okay, maybe make it smaller. Kecilkan dia sikit. Oh, eh, terkecil sangat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, alright. So, you can, you click and uh, hold pada shift button tiga uh, circle ni. And then bawa kepada, uh, you tengok yang top right hand punya icon tu, I nak cari pada alignment window ya. Yeah. This is alignment. I need to alignkan dia uh, selari in the center macam tu. Alamak. Ha, okay, dah. Maybe that's it. Um, and maybe I want to bring it down. Uh, and then yang ni, I nak sel... Ah, tunggu sekejap. Yang ni, one, uh, shift, button, uh, hold shift button and select tiga. I'm going to group it. Right button click pada mouse and group kan. So, dia dah tiga. Then, I can select semua ni sekali and then I akan buat alignment juga. Ah Macam tu. Alignment, align center. Align horizontally, uh, center. So, dia akan center lah ni. So, bila dah siap ni, what you want to do is you click, pergi pada modification, modify page and you well everything. Ah, You dapatlah shape macam tu. Ni, ni yang macam lekuk-lekuk ni. Alright, that's basically the idea. And then kalau then uh, for the uh, untuk masukkan tali ke or ni pun you boleh do a hole. Eh, eh. You do a hole. That's it. And click semua sekali. Go to the alignment page again. And align. Align to the center. Alright. So that is basically how I go about creating any design of tag that I want. Alright. So contoh ni uh, yang ni. Katalah okay. I think we can go ahead and follow this design. Oh no. Maybe tak nak follow lah. I dah tunjuk you macam mana nak buat. I'm going to take this design yang Kak Rozi dah buat tadi. So, this is the one that I dah pakai kan. Then, I ambil ni pun, I bawa sini. I go and centerkan dia. Center. Alright. That is where I want to have it centered. Okay. So sekarang ni, uh, that is the uh, bahagian yang kita akan cut. That is the outline of our product tag eh. 
Dan sekarang ni uh, apa-apa lah isi pada you punya uh, product tag tu. Uh, you can actually write anything. You go here. This is the text. And then before I start typing, I pilih uh, my font is cut font. Cut sketch font. That is my font. And I click here. This is uh, similar to what I've typed there. You, eh, sorry. You are awesome. Oh, right. So, right. Uh, so yang ni dekat sini you can go and select center alright and you can reduce to fit into your tag something like that ok contoh Okay, that is how I do go about doing my text. So, since I have mine done already, I'm just going to take all of those in. Ah, I nak bawa ni masuk. Alright. It's already here. And again, kalau nak align, select everything, go to the alignment page. Uh, and go align center dekat align horizontally punya column. So, it would align the text center. And then, if you remember my sample, uh, I ada macam outline lah, the gift tag tu. Uh, so, what you want to do is, contohnya yang ni, you can do an internal offset. Do an internal offset. Uh, so, yang nampak dah immediately, you find that's an internal offset. Uh, and then, you can adjust lah. How far in you nak ambil dia? You want to... How far in you want the outline to be? Alright. Contoh. Example. Alright. That's one. Okay. And you can click apply. So, dia akan ada internal offset tu. Then, that's how you do up your... Cut. So sekarang ni you perasan that everything is done in red. Red ni maknanya is a, a cameo akan nampak anything that is red as a cut file. Okay tapi you punya text and the in, uh, yang the border tu bukan cut ya. Eh? So what you gonna do next is you akan pilih ni text dia and then you nak pilih the internal border tu kita groupkan sekali senang. Okay so dia dah jadi satu group. And then you go to the, uh, open the line color window. Um, icon yang ke 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From the left. And you pilih color biru, dark blue. I usually use this blue, dark blue. So everything that I want to uh, sketch with my pen is in blue. And whatever that I want to cut is in red. Alright? So, this is how I do my setup. So, sekarang ni, bila you dah setkan ni, we go to the cut setting, icon yang kedua daripada kanan, uh, cut setting, click cut setting. Right. Ha. So, you kena pilih dekat cut mode ni, biasanya default dia is standard. Uh, standard, dia nampak semua merah lah. So, you don't want to do that. So, you have to choose advanced in your cut mode. Baru dia nampak dua color. So, here, you see, whatever is blue is going to be, uh, you pilih tool biru. The blue circle tool. Tool biru is the second uh, slot in on the dual carriage where you're going to put your uh, pen. Alright? Use your pen holder and masukkan pen. And then, yang anything that is red, sini red. Ah, Okay, kita buat satu dulu ya. Eh. When yang biru tu, you kena select sketch, silhouette sketch pen. So, sini, there's an option if you select sketch pen, dia terus akan ambil sketch pen option ni. Thickness, speed, blah 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 ni semua. So, this, you just follow the preset. Okay. 
So then what uh, yang ni pun I nak kena click and tick. This one is for red and uh, whatever that is red lah. Sebab ada dua jenis red lah apparently in this image. So ini dua kita kena tukar this one kena jadi cannot be a sketch pen because the red you want to cut. So dekat sini you kena pilih textured cut stop. PQRS sama lah PQRS textured cut stop. Actually it's not textured. It, mine is a craft paper cut stop. Tapi the setting is sesuai and it cuts through the the material that I'm using which is craft paper cut stop. So I I stay on I I decided to use the extra cut stock ni eh. So yang ni pun sama texture cut stock and then automatic blade. Make sure that you change it to automatic blade and you have to tick 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 ni semua so that it would do the task yang you have set it to do. Kalau you tak mark that thing tick, it would not um, perform the task that you want it to do. Okay. Uh, so, uh, basically, situ semua dah siap. That is in terms of how we do up the design onto the uh, on the design page of Silhouette Studio tu. Basically, semua dah set. I'm going to come back and show you um, macam mana I load the cutter and perform the cut and we see the end result. Alright? Okay, uh, this is the pen yang Kak Ruzi guna. I think I did a pen holder, uh, how do you say, video on uh, cara nak menggunakan pen holder ni kan. Uh, can you, you can check on my YouTube um, videos. Ada satu uh, video Kak Ruzi buat pasal pen holder saja. Uh, so, Kak Ruzi dah load. My pen is a Faber-Castell pen. Like any pen pun boleh. Janji dia boleh masuk pada pen holder adapter ni. So, alright. I'm going to take you closer to my cameo. Uh, you masuk dekat second slot ni. Alright. And then you push it in. So, di slot yang pertama is my auto blade. Alright. Then, Kak Rosie masukkan I, I'm going to load my uh, apa ti? Paper. Hang on. Load. Alright, so kita dah load paper, um, Kak Ruzi guna balik paper yang tadi And uh, Kak Ruzi dah movekan the design so that it's gonna cut where there's paper lah Bukan pada ruang yang kosong tu kan So bila dah siap semua, kita dah based on kita punya cut setting tadi Ni, if we go back to our cut setting Ni semua yang kita dah set kan so, all you need to do is send it to silhouette. Done. We need to tunggu sekejap. Ah, then kita unload. Okay, here it is. Ha. Kalau betul potong dia tu senang lah. Cut well. Hmm. So here you go. This is how we do. You nampak the border line tu. I thought it, it was just a nice finishing. And then, uh, siap dah ada tali untuk letak, uh, I mean, lubang untuk letak tali untuk sangkutkan pada your product. So, I hope you can give it a try. Um, and, kalau ada apa-apa yang tak clear, boleh PM kat Rosie. If you want to um, beli uh, cameo ataupun portrait, boleh PM kat Rosie. Uh, kalau nak... Um, request uh, other tutorial on cameo pun boleh PM kat Rosie